Today we've got three easy, magical upgrades that will up your game and make your opponents drop in shame. Let's go. Your first touch will determine everything for you as a player. So this first point is going to make your first touch a little bit better. Oh wait, no, not a little, a lot, my friends, because the majority of us, when we don't concentrate on our first touch, you take a step, you receive the pass, and it's right up under you. You're stopped, you're frozen, okay? And as soon as that happens, the defender is gonna go like this, he's gonna be all over you, all of your teammates are gonna move, you're concentrating too much, and that's just not gonna work, all right? At the higher levels, you already have to know. Now, there is one thing that you can do always, 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 and if you do this, it will help you. And that is to take your first touch out with a little bit of space in front of you. And you might think, that sounds easy. In theory, it sounds easy. It's another thing in practice completely, all right? So when you are taking your first touch, if you keep and press the ball out just enough, what it will do is immediately allow you to scan the field, see everything that's around you. It'll allow you to play a long pass. It'll allow you to start dribbling, all right? And if you're an attacking player, taking this first touch forward is the first rule in trying to beat someone one-on-one, -on -one, which is you need to build up speed and momentum. So by taking this touch forward, you can then immediately attack the defender, put them on their back foot, and then go to goal, move, cross, do whatever it is. Like we said, this in theory, it sounds easy, but you have to train every single one of the points here today. And you can do this with a wall, with a friend who's passing you the ball, and you immediately take that touch, and it means in all directions. It's not always gonna be in front of you. If you're a striker, yes, defender is here, take a touch out in front of you a little bit, and now you know what to do. If you're a midfielder, that's 360, guys. You play in the middle of the field, you've gotta be able to take a touch left, right, whatever. Maybe you let the ball go and ro roll under you. All of these things need to be trained. It's not an overnight thing. But once you get it and understand it and make it a part of your game, it will change everything. All right, my friends, we are stacking skills here today. So with each point that you learn, it will improve your game. Let's see if I can calculate that one. If I had that square root of turtle is 17.65%. That's right, my friends. We just told you about your first touch. Now, if you set yourself up very well and you're a striker, then you got to know you're trying to score. And this is what this point is about. Stop waiting for the perfect shot. Stop waiting for the perfect window, the perfect touch, all that stuff. It's very, very rare that it's always gonna set up for you exactly how you want it. And you will notice that the best strikers they don't care about that at all. It's gonna bounce off their knee, off their face, whatever. I mean, guys, if you've seen some of Inzaghi's goals, who's one of my favorite strikers, this, this thing will bounce off everything. It'll bounce off the moon, come back down, and hit him in the chest, goal, and before you know it, he's scored, all right? But he's not waiting for a perfect opportunity. And you guys need to know, even if you do take a bad touch and you're in front of goal, you gotta take that shot. Even if it doesn't look like, if there's a 20% chance that this shot might get through, well, guess what? How many goals have you seen that have been deflected? All right, so this point is for you whenever you are in front of goal. It doesn't mean you're not always looking for a pass and you're always doing that stuff. You have to balance this. You can't be the guy that's always taking the shots because pretty much no one's gonna pass you the ball. But more often than not, you'll notice Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, all these guys that you know and love, guys, they take more shots than everybody. And the reason they do that is because they're not waiting for the perfect exact moment to score. They're creating it, okay? You wanna be the one that pulls the trigger. Be that guy. It's a mentality shift and once you get it, all the goals are yours. In life, my friends, you have to be persistent and you have to be able to bounce and adapt to everything. So you took a good first touch, you took a shot, but guess what? It didn't go in, and as a matter of fact, there's a counterattack going against you. We're talking about defending, all right? And there are very few things that you can do in order to improve your defending, but there is something that all defenders, the best, if you watch them, they know well, and that is when to step in. That's what we've got for you today. How to step in, how not to dive, all right? Because a lot of players, they'll see guys doing all these skills and they'll just fly in there. They're just like, I'm just gonna, it's random. But I can tell you what, the best defenders, even when they do get beat, they're coming in, sliding in, making tackles when it's the most opportune time to do that. They're giving themselves the highest chance to succeed. So how to know when to step in? Guys, if someone's doing a step over, you don't move when they're doing the step over. You wait for them to take the step over, they've leaned, they've thrown all their weight, and then they're gonna push off. At that moment of push off, that's when they're the weakest, all right? So if I'm leaning this way, and then trying to run like this, 
and you come and put your body in between me, if you tackle me, if you make a challenge right in that moment, it's less likely that I'm going to be able to turn, to adapt, to get things. So as a defender, you need to know that that's when to step in. It's not when I'm doing all the step overs. If I'm doing a bunch of step overs, you start diving in then, good luck to you, all right? Because that's a very low percentage chance for you. A Little bit of a bonus step and tip in this, don't just reach in with your leg. You can control more of the situation if you can put your body in between the, the attacking player and the ball, all right? So when you go to make a tackle, try to follow that through with your body. And on top of that, if you miss, if he beats you, do not give up. You will be surprised at the amount of times and the amount of tenacity that great defenders have. That they'll get beat once, twice, all right? Cut, 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 nutmegged. And then guess what? At the end of the day, they didn't give up and they still took the ball, all right? So incorporate that into your game. And with all of these three points, you guys, if you can take them and put them in your game for real, you will change yourself. You will change the way you play and you'll have more fun on the field, which is the exact goal of us here at Unisport. All right, my friends, that is the vid. You know what to do. Leave us a like, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if you want these habits, these skills to be a real part of your game, watch this video over again and take a little bit of notes and understand, put them into your game. And we will see you guys later. Peace.